Minnesota Fine Vikings cornerback room has a lot of young up and coming players, but they're still raw and untested. Uh, and then Zimmer, uh, this offseason, decided to part way with longtime defensive back coach Jerry Gray as he goes over to the river to the Packers, which is just great. Uh, but enter Durante Jones coming over from the Cincinnati Bengals. Uh, he looks to get this cornerback room into shape. Let's talk about him today. I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty pumped up about him. So, uh, background Durante Jones uh, played defensive back at Morgan State. Uh, it is native Maryland from 1997, 2000. Uh, he initially started out at Temple. So him and Harrison Hand chemistry could talk about, I don't know, how bad Temple is. Uh, I don't know. Uh, then uh, after he got done playing in college, he decided to immediately jump into coaching. Uh, served as assistant defense coordinator uh, as well as on a number of high school teams uh, and small colleges before eventually uh, l- uh, landing his way as a cornerback coach of Rick Neuheisel's 2010 UCLA Bruins team. So jumping up to Division One, let's go. Uh, and then eventually 2011, decided to take his talents from, all right, so I- I'm going to go to CFL. I- I'm going to coach uh, defensive backs for the Montreal Alouettes. Uh, for former Bears coaching legend Mark Tressman, the pride of St. Louis Park, by the way. Also, he was Tony Dungy's backup uh, at, at, at the Gophers back in the day. Yeah. Uh, and then, all right, so uh, Durante is very good at jumping around climates. So he goes from UCLA, Westwood, then he goes to Montreal, and then he goes to Hawaii for three years. That was a tough sell. Uh, 2012 to 2014, he was DB coach under Norm Chow, uh, who he worked with at UCLA, uh, then also served as assistant head coach in 2014. 2015, again, jumping climates yet again. Uh, he went to the Badgers. Don't hold that against him. Uh, under uh, then head coach Paul Christ, or current head coach. Eh, I don't care. Uh, then jumped to the NFL 2016. Uh, served two years as assistant to the regional defensive backs coach down in Miami. Uh, under now Jets head coach Adam Gates. <laughs> uh, working with longtime defensive back coach uh, Lou uh, Anarumo. We'll talk about it in a sec. Uh, Jones then spent the last two uh, seasons in Cincinnati as defensive backs coach, uh, also working with the aforementioned Anna Rumo, uh, who became the defensive coordinator on Zach Taylor's first staff in 2019. Uh, last year, he helped Darkeese Dennard, uh, as well as uh, second-year fifth-round pick Darius Phillips, uh, step up and have career seasons. Also, ooh, 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 ooh. We have to get Drake or Patcher because uh, Durante Jones' chemistry. Yeah, that old talking point. Uh, so it's important to note uh, as well that uh, when he was first hired in Cincinnati in 2018, it was under Marvin Lewis, uh, his final season with the Bengals. And you know Marvin and Zim go way back like chiropract. So I'm sure that uh, Marvin's endorsement goes a long way with Zimmer. So that's why Durante Jones is here. So there you go. And so even though I, I, I am a huge Jerry Gray fan, even though I hope that he fails tremendously in Green Bay, I mean, that's just how it is. Um, I, I'm going to trust Zimmer in this spot because even though – you know, Jerry Gray did phenomenal things uh, with the defensive back group uh, here with the Vikings. I mean, someone needed to answer for that cornerback room falling apart last year, and it obviously wasn't going to be Zimmer. So uh, he, he threw Jerry Gray, threw George Edwards under the bus to a degree. So maybe some new management will help. And also, you know, the safety room is fine. You, know, you got Harrison, you have Anthony Harris, you got the best safety duo in the, in the NFL. That's fine. Uh, but cornerback room. It's a bit of a blank slate because the elder statesmen in the room are uh, Mike Hughes and Holton Hill, who haven't really fully established themselves in the NFL. And then everyone else is either a rookie or a second year player. So that's just great. And this actually may be a good thing. I mean, if Jones wants to install uh, you know, large overhauls in technique and philosophy, now is the time to do it. You, know, you got guys coming in uh, as sponges, as blank, uh, blank slates. And uh, I always... Uh, so compared to um, uh, so uh, uh, high end kitchens, right? Commercial kitchens where you have executive chefs, and, and they'll tell you that they're hiring a new line or prep cut. Uh, they would actually like them to not have any experience. Uh, they they would like them to have their first experience be in their kitchen, so that they don't come in with bad habits that you have to break. That's why I see a, a lot of former dishwashers being uh, promoted up to the line or being a prep cook. Uh, it, it's you know, they like no experience because chefs can teach them exactly how they want things, how they want produce prepped, uh, how they like meat butchered, how they like mise en place set up, et cetera. Uh, and no one comes in with an ego like, well, this is how we did it over this restaurant or this is what they taught us in culinary school, blah, blah, blah. It's like, no, I'm going to teach you exactly the way that I want it. Uh, and this, uh, it may be that scenario for Jones here. Uh, so it may be the best time for him to step up in with the cornerback room because everyone is young relatively inexperienced in the grand scheme of things in the NFL, uh, hungry to prove what they got. 
relatively open competition uh, and have not developed bad habits or bad traits uh, under NFL level coaching before. And the competition is wide open. So I think it's a great spot for Durante Jones. Uh, I like it. It is an opportunity to completely re- reshape uh, this defensive back unit and open up chapter two. Because uh, when Zimmer came in in 2014 with Jerry Gray, they completely changed the game. Got the best out of Trey Waynes and Mackenzie Alexander uh, and especially Xavier Rhodes. But, I mean, that chapter's over. Uh, chapter two of the cornerback room uh, with Durante Jones. Got a big challenge ahead of him, uh, except I, I think he's got to be relishing uh, this opportunity uh, ahead as well. All right, so your thoughts. Durante Jones coming on in. Let us know in the comments section below. Subscribe for daily Viking stakes. If you want to support the work, pull us up in the Venmo. Please give us a follow on social media as well. But until next time, Skull Production Value. <laughs>